In this video, I'll be giving you 50 bullet echo tips that will assist you in terms of making progress in the game. But I will also give tips that you can apply during your gameplay in order to win more matches or at least lose less. Whether you're a new player or you have a bit of experience, I'm sure that you will find something helpful in this video. And with that said, let's get straight into the video. The first 25 tips will be about making faster progress in the game in regards to upgrading your heroes and their gear, as well as completing different tasks and events within the game. On the other hand, the second set of 25 tips will be tips that you can apply during matches to make sure that you give yourself the best chance of winning more or at least reduce the number of matches you lose. And getting right into it, tip number one, you should upgrade only two or three heroes. If you don't play sabotage mode, stick to only two of your favorite heroes until they reach celestial or stellar tier, then you can upgrade the others. Tip number two, Try to only play when you can open battle chests or complete contracts. Do not play if none of these two things are available. You will gain trophies too fast without upgrading your heroes appropriately. Hence, you will end up facing stronger enemies. 3. Do not buy battle chests and card chests trying to unlock new heroes. This is too expensive. It is better to just keep playing the game normally and opening the free battle chests and skull chests. 4. Join a syndicate as soon as possible. Teamwork will help you win most of your matches. Players who play alone end up losing more games. Tip number 5. Speaking of teams, play with your syndicate members during events and sabotage. You will get bonus points for doing this, which will make the event faster for you to complete. Tip number 6. If you cannot find a syndicate, add friends after every match to have a full list of friends that you can choose from when you want to team up. Tip number 7. Upgrade the gears which you use on multiple heroes first. For example, the runner's boots and infantry vest. Tip number 8. Joker cards are more important than hero cards because you can choose which hero to give them to. So this should be your focus as you upgrade your heroes. Tip number 9. Speaking of joker cards, the fastest way to get them is to play the 21 hour contract multiple times a week and always aim to get into the top 10% of executors. This is not very hard, I will link a few videos I made about contracts in the top comment for those that need them. Tip number 10. If you spend money on the game, do not buy the overpriced offers that give you almost nothing useful. Instead, buy boosters, for example the contracts booster, sabotage booster or the events boosters. 11. To level up your syndicate, you must play with fellow syndicate members to gain syndicate XP. Only syndicate XP can be used to level up your syndicate. Tip number 12. Use bot farming for easier progress and to complete events faster. Check the top comment, I will link the video I made explaining what bot farming is and how you can do it. 13. Read through hero base statistics as you switch between gears, just to see the effects of the gears you equip. You need to see if the gears even make a difference. 14. Watch guides on YouTube and practice what you learn whenever you play. 15. Play the 5 vs 5 game modes if you want to increase your win rate and keep it high. These game modes, I'm talking about squad vs squad and sabotage, they have a 50% possibility of winning since a match has only 2 teams, while in battle royale you only have a 20% chance of winning because the match has 5 teams. 16. Do not max out all your heroes. Leave some of them on immortal level because the lobbies here have a lot of players compared to the bravery road. 17. Learn how all hero abilities work so that you can understand whatever happens to you during matches. 18. The stylish cell random skin chest will not give you the latest new skins, only old ones. 19. When you buy skins from the shop for 500 game bucks, you will still only get the oldest skins. 20. Understand which gears are useless on what heroes. For example, the precision implant is not necessary on Mirage. Tip number 21. Save a minimum of 10,000 crypto chips from the contracts for spending in the black market. 22. Spin every roulette at least two times. You can get lots of resources and rewards. 23. Choose your contracts depending on how long you want to play. If you want to play for about 2 hours, then the 3 hour contract is a good contract for you to participate in. Apply that to all the other contracts. 24. 
Do not play events without reading through the missions and seeing which heroes are required, otherwise you will end up wasting a lot of time. 25. Climb the leagues to unlock heroes faster. The rewards are also better in the higher leagues. And that brings us to the first half of this video. And now, all the tips from 26 to 50 are all about performing better during your matches. Let's get into it, starting with 26. Flanking is very important if you dream of ever being a good player in this game. Attack enemy teams from a different direction while they are focused on destroying your teammates. 27. Run in a zigzag pattern while escaping from shooting enemies, especially when you use SMG heroes. 28. Pick around corners or take cover behind obstacles to make it harder for enemies to hit you while being able to hit them properly. 29. Blame yourself every time you get killed within a match. Always try to think of ways that you could have done things differently to win. This will make you a much better player in a short time. Tip number 30. Try as much as possible to use 4 personal gears on your assault rifle heroes to achieve almost 50% damage reduction when you are using the team healing ability. This can save your life and the lives of your teammates. 31. Look around a lot. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. It will save your life multiple times and even help you become a much better player overall. Tip number 32. Do not waste ability charges because they can also save your life. Tip number 33. Do not waste healing charges when using SMG heroes. These healing charges can help these SMG heroes run much faster and hence be able to escape from danger as fast as possible. And moving on to tip number 34. Look at the KO feed in the top left corner of your screen to identify which heroes are making kills by noticing what weapon they are using or to decide if you will be facing very strong players. 35. Listen for distant gunshot noise and explosions so that you can third party other battles on the map and destroy the survivors who you will most likely find with low health. 36. Do not get too close. Enemies can still go through those shields and do full damage to you. I'm talking about Hurricane, Bastion and Angel. Tip number 37. Shoot while going around the enemy or moving side to side. It makes it harder for enemies to hit you with lots of damage. 38. For thermal vision and Lynx's ability, the Rain of Arrows, first activate it away from the enemy and then turn it towards them at the last moment. They won't expect it and hence they will not be able to escape it. 39. Trap enemies with your force field when you are using Satoshi and Bloat. The enemy cannot move or shoot. Tip number 40. Do not walk too close to walls and corners. You can get stuck there. This is some kind of bug that is still in the game up to now. I don't know why they can't fix it. I'm not quite sure why it has not been fixed yet, but this bug has been there since I began playing over 3 years ago. Tip number 41. Use Anian Dragoon jumping abilities to reveal invisible ghosts or stalker. 42. With sniper heroes, use your healing ability to reduce noise and be able to sneak up on enemies more easily without them seeing your footsteps. Tip number 43. Take some damage on purpose. Some heroes become much more dangerous after taking some damage. For example, Firefly, Smog, Sparkle, etc. 44. With Satoshi and Lot, your shield increases your aimed range. You can activate it in a hidden place. The enemy will not know that you have the extra weapon range. And tip number 5. With Stalker and Ghost, take cover around a corner or obstacle after coming out of invisibility. This is very hard for the enemy to survive. 46. Use the team healing ability with Stalker while invisible to help your team take less damage and gain health and during this time the enemy cannot see you. Tip number 47. With Braven and Cyclops, move to a new position or angle of attack after scanning. This is because scanning reveals your location so the enemy will be expecting you from that direction. Tip number 48. Speaking of scanning, you should scan just before attacking for a damage boost of about 35%. Tip number 49. Use your drone to stop Ramsey. His ability will go off when he collides with any drone that has been placed in place. And finally, tip number 50. Do not be afraid of dying in game or losing. Approach every match with this mindset and you will perform much better. Fear will always cause you to camp and you will lose anyway because you will be attacked by full enemy teams that you cannot deal with or escape from.
and there you have it those are 50 bullet echo tips that you can apply to help you move forward and improve if you have any other tips that have missed out drop them in the comment section and if you found any value in this video here is a few other videos you might like